what you're looking at is the Cake Osa Plus, and this is, in my opinion, the most revolutionary motorcycle of the year. This thing is full of insanely cool gadgets and gizmos and some really clever engineering. And in this video, we're talking all about it and showing you what makes this thing so special. Cake is a relatively new brand here in the US or a Swedish company, and they are working to transform the world of electric motorcycles. And let's talk about some of the stats. So located in the middle of the bike is your 2.6 kilowatt hour battery and Cake says this is good for a range of about 52 miles. Now charging times, this will charge on 110 volts and 220 volts. They're saying zero to 80% in up to two hours and then zero to 100% in roughly three hours or so. That, however, is not the most clever part of the battery because check this out, they actually give you access to onboard power. So not only do you have a 12 volt socket, but a, a five volt, two amp charger for your iPad and other uh, uh, kind of gadgets that you may have on you at any given time, which is really pretty clever. And if you notice, this whole battery is removable. It's just strapped in and it's a very sleek, very kind of minimalist design. You can remove it. If you had a spare battery, you could slap it in there and keep going for another 52 miles. The single electric motor lives right down here in the center of the bike. It's rated at 10 kilowatts, and the top speed of this bike is 56 miles an hour. Now, this is one of the big surprises, right? You look at it and you think, ooh, this is an electric bicycle. It is not an electric bicycle. This is a full-fledged motorcycle, a classified similarly to like 125cc gasoline bike. And it's got everything a motorcycle would have. So it's got a license plate, it's got turn signals, it's got a brake light, and of course here in Colorado, being similar output to like a 125, you do need a motorcycle license to ride this. This is a very cool looking bike in general. And you ride it places and everyone wants to stop and talk about it because it's just so out of this world. It's very industrial looking, very minimalist. And I absolutely love that. Now the defining feature is this center bar. And what's cool about this is the modularity. So various components can strap and unstrap to the center bar depending on its configuration. Now up front here, we've got the full LED headlight. And you notice it doesn't actually turn with the handlebars because once again, it is mounted to this central pillar and you can see it's easy to mount and unmount, which is pretty clever. And then when you come back to the rear, you've got stuff like the seats. Take a look underneath here, Cole. They're actually just simple latches. Little uh, screw here, you can latch them down, but depending on your height, you can move the seat forward and backward. And then in this configuration, we have a second seat in the rear, so you can ride two up. But once again, flick this up, you can kind of undo these little latches and you can actually remove this seat altogether, slide it off the end. And uh, why would you want to do that? Well, say you didn't need a, uh, a seat for a second passenger. Say you wanted a basket or a, uh, um, like a, a, a place to put stuff. Cake sells all sorts of different accessories, which will allow you to kind of configure your bike. And that is definitely one of the coolest parts. Now kind of that configurability continues with the turn signals, which are just mounted to the forks here. And you can see a very simple industrial design, but once again, why make it complicated if it works? Kind of a similar theme with the way they've routed their wires. So it's all hidden. You don't get to see all of the connectors or scary components that make this bike work. It's all held within these modular boxes, like the control unit, all within this Flux 1500. And then you can see how nicely all the wires are routed, like the way, for example, the controls from the handlebars make their way through the frame and then out here to the, uh, the control box. But really a fantastic install, very high quality and a nice clean look. Let's talk about wheels and tires. So a 14 inch wheel, this is more in line with something like a scooter, but of course it's not a scooter because it's got a crossbar here that runs between your legs. Now, more interesting thing than the wheels are the tires. This came equipped to us with a set of Winter Grip 2 tires. They're uh, MNS rated, but they're three peak snow rated. This is a snow tire. And if that is not the most Swedish thing to come on a motorcycle, I think that's really pretty cool. Let's show the startup procedure on the cake because of course it's not a gasoline motorcycle, there's no engine to start 
but of course you do need to turn it on so the uh, the startup procedure begins with clicking the button here on the side of the battery before lights illuminate then you click on the kill switch there on the handlebars and then you push this little square button here on the display and it comes into life now when you turn the bike on you'll notice the cake logo and what looks to be like a pac-man that is actually a cake with a slice removed that's kind of clever and when you turn the bike on you're greeted with this enter pin now there is no kind of conventional key to start the bike up instead you program a pin in this case it's pretty simple just one two three ideally you do something a little bit more complicated than that but check this out now we've got access to the full digital display and here we have all of the configurability so in the middle, you've got your little speedometer, and then you have different ride modes, three different ride modes, depending on the speed that you want the bike to ride at. So ride mode three is gonna access the maximum top speed. So let's go ahead and go into that. That right there will get you up to 56 miles an hour. Ride mode one, by the way, is limited to 28 miles an hour, and then ride mode two is 44. And then there's a brake mode here too, you see that? And brake is actually for the regenerative braking, the off accelerator or off throttle regenerative braking. So the higher you go, the more regen. And that noise, by the way, that's just a little amplifier underneath the seat. The controls are very simple. So on the right side, of course, you've got your twist throttle, um, very progressive, very linear. And then up here, you've got your uh, lever for the front brake, you've got your kill switch over here. And then over on the left, you've got headlight dip. So high beam and low beam, of course, turn signals. There's a flash to pass function over here. And then even your little horn, and then up here on the left handlebar, well, that's gonna be your rear brake. Now that drive mode configurability can be controlled via an app on your phone, which is pretty clever, as well as some of the security like locking and unlocking the bike. Uh, and then the uh, kick has a center stand and it's fairly simple actually to get it up and down off of the center stand. Even if you're weak like me with squirrel and gerbil here, it's pretty, pretty doable. Um, yeah, not bad at all. So very cool bike, but of course there's always a but. The price is pretty high. This model, as you see it, about 10,500, and that is before we start adding on accessories. Uh, however, it is a very well-made, very beautiful thing to look at, but is it worth 10,500? Now let me know in the comment section below. As always, it's been Tommy. Thank you for watching this Gadgets and Gizmos video. We'll see you on the next episode.